Hey guys, Eric Allen, owner of Top Rated MMA. This is episode 7 of the Top Rated Podcast. And we have, again, Killian Estes on this show. He's fighting for his 5th and 6th amateur titles in the next few weeks. Check it out. Good, man. Hey, uh, thanks for uh, taking time out of your work to, to do this real quick, then. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Hey, uh, so last time we spoke, you're getting ready to fight at King of the Cage. You went in there and got a first-round TKO, right? Yep. Awesome, man. Congrats on that. Thank you. Hey, uh, so uh, you got your next fight coming up at the end of this month in like two weeks, right? Uh, Rumble at the Roseland? Yep, September 30th. That's okay. for another 185-pound belt. And that'll be your fifth one? That'd be my fifth title, yeah. Come on, man, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's do you uh, know much about that uh, that guy you're fighting for that title? Um, not really. I heard he wrestled for uh, Oregon State or something. Okay. Okay. And I think he's four and two. Okay. He's kind of a scrapper type kid. Yeah. Uh, I think overall, I'm pretty pretty much well rounded above him. So. Yeah. Awesome, Should man. be good. Stay composed. Yeah. And, and is that a five round bout or is it three? Yeah, it's five. Okay. It's uh, five rounds, three minutes. Come on, man. All right. That'll be a good fight, man. Uh, I'm excited to hear how you do. I think you'll get in there and get get some whooping going on, man. So get that hand raised, get that fifth belt, man. Come on. Yeah, it'll be sweet. Hey, uh, so I wanted to talk about uh, your next fight uh, in October for Proving Grounds, right? Yep. Is that also for a title fight? Uh, yeah, they they offered me the hundred title. Okay, that's awesome. And have you 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 fought with those guys before? Yeah, I have the one hundred and seventy pound title. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, man. So, yeah, uh, yeah proving grounds. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome night of fights. I'll actually be out there. It's at a new venue. Uh, the Ro was it called the Roseland? The Roxy. Roxy. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So uh, I was talking with Joel. And he said that the uh, guy from the local Fox station is going to be out and seeing if they want to start recording these these fights. So that's hopefully a big audience, and uh, we'll be yeah. pushing this you know this interview and um, talk with Joel next week. Who are you fighting for that uh, 185 title? Uh, I think his name's Jose. Uh, what's his name? Jose Rodriguez or something like that. Okay. Okay. So, I, I can't remember. I can't remember his last name. I just know his first name. Are you expecting another quick finish for you? Yeah, I think I'll I'll be doing good. Uh, I've been linking up with a boxing coach recently, so my hands are getting a lot better. Nice. Okay. Sweet. Wrestling, wrestling's pretty good. You know, 16 years of that, so that never goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kid's pretty tough, I guess. I mean, he's six and two. Okay. I don't really know nothing about him. Uh, didn't really expect to take this fight. I had. The September 30th fight lined up, and then I had December 9th lined up. Someone keeps calling me, sorry. That's all right. But, uh, yeah, so I had that the September 30th fight and then the December 9th fight. Um, and this one was kind of last minute. I had Swain call me yesterday and asked if I wanted the 185 main event. Oh. You know, 185 title in the main event, and I told him, yeah, let's do it. So you cool. get another belt in before going to that amateur world title fight. Yeah, and that's in December? That's the December fight you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. December. That's on live team uh, TV in Reno. Come on, man. That's and that's the King of the Cage National Amateur World Championship, right? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That's that's rad. Um, and then after that, come February, you're making your pro debut. Yeah. In February. Yep. yep. February over at the Coeur d'Alene Casino. Okay. My pro debut versus uh, Chris Shell. I was gonna say I've been seeing some uh, some Facebook chatter between you guys. <laughs> yeah and that's a rematch he's a kind of a punk I uh I actually fought in my second fight I ever had okay uh I was 17 I think at the time okay uh buddy uh Nick Mason Holder a lot of people know who he is uh called me up about 30 minutes before the uh show started he said hey Chris Shell doesn't have an opponent and I I said alright he said will you fight him I said well yeah yeah and so I down there and 
Uh, got into the building and they're like, you're up next. So I wrapped my hands up, didn't really warm up or nothing, walked out and finished him in a minute, 26 seconds. So Okay. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So I guess I guess he didn't learn the first time around, so I guess I'll just have to uh, whoop his ass one more time. Here. <laughs> Absolutely. Is, is that a, a pro debut for him as well, or is he uh, on pro right now? That'll be a pro debut for him as well, yeah. Okay, okay. Awesome, man. Well, that, that's going to be a great fight. Uh, that is February 16th, correct? Uh, I'm not sure on the exact date. Okay. Uh, it's it's going to be a Thursday, and I, okay. I put the 16th just just because. I didn't know the date yet. So yeah, yeah. It'll probably be somewhere around that time. I know it's on a Thursday. Okay, so. okay. Right on, man. Well, I'm looking forward to that fight. Hey, last time we spoke, the, the audio kind of cut up a little bit. Uh, but wanted to give you a chance to give a shout out to all your sponsors. If you if you got some, uh, obviously you have a lot of sponsors. But if you want to throw some names out there, I'll make sure that we uh, throw that out on the on the interview too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Maximum Exposure Wraps. They uh, they wrap the trailer for me. Um, our fight trailer that my dad owns has me on there. Has Cordell Chun on there. Has Elijah Ross on there. You know, really cool artwork on there. It's pretty cool. Um, does all of our banners for Scar Promotions. Okay. Um, those guys are awesome people. Go check them out if you want. Uh, they're really, really good. Good at, good at what they do. Um, and then Frieza, uh, Rolled Ice Cream. Sean, he's the, he's the owner of that. He's my manager. He does a lot for me. Um, he's the one that gets me all my uh, sponsors. He also owns the Scar Promotions. Um, he helps out all of us fighters, you know, whoever comes to him. I think he's got seven fighters now that he manages, so wow. he's done a lot for me. And um, then uh, Patriot Supplements, those guys, those guys are awesome. Uh, you need to go check them out. They got some good supplements over there. Cool. They uh, help me with with everything from recovery to building muscle to uh, you know staying hydrated, everything uh, diet. You go to them and they'll help you out. Um, and then uh, uh, Boar's Nest, uh, those guys are awesome. They're out in Spirit Lake. They're a restaurant. Uh, they're pretty cool. I'm doing an event uh, actually tomorrow. I'm doing a kids camp from uh, 12 to 6. And it's $20 admission. You get 12 to 6. I'll be teaching all the kids uh, ages 5 to 17 years old. Um, you know, I'll be going over basics of MMA, jiu-jitsu, stuff like that, you know, let them, uh, let them get a feeling for the cage, because I'll have the cage out there as well, Sweet. Uh, so they'll be able to get in the cage, uh, I'll have shirts for sale out there, 20 bucks a piece, um, you know, I'll be signing autographs, all that good stuff, so, okay, it'll be fun. Awesome, man. Well, hey, uh, thanks so much uh, for being on the show, uh, I'll get this posted up uh, this evening, and, and uh, send that link out to you as well, but... Man, again, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to seeing your hand raised over the next, you know, three, four fights and and uh, seeing you in the UFC for sure. Yeah, thanks, Eric. All right, brother. Have a good one. Yeah, you as well. Oh